this is a wild story, one that we uh, actually spent hours kind of dare, trying to dig he into this. He went down this rabbit hole. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Is this as it's insane as it appears on the surface? And the answer actually is yes. So let's put this up there. Uh, the first person to flag it to me was Kyle Bass, who put out this tweet. Uh, and we're gonna go through some of the uh, actual allegations in here. He says, quote, an illegal secret Chinese bioagent lab has been raided by the FBI, the CDC, and California Public Health Department in Fresno County, California. The CDC's Division of Select Agents found infectious, bacteri infectious bacterial and viral agents at the site, which was listed as an empty building. Bioagents included malaria, rubella, and HIV. He continues, chlamydia, E. coli, numerous other types, hepatitis B and C, herpes one and five. The lab had, quote, 900 genetically engineered mice designed to carry various COVID strains living in inhumane conditions with an, another 175 that were actually found dead. Okay. So let's look at the actual details, and it appears actually that many of them do add up. So let's go to the NBC News report. So the NBC News report specifically did not uh, put the, uh, they did not ascribe the origin and the connections to the Chinese Communist Party in this, but they do actually confirm something key. One, this was an illegal unlicensed laboratory full of lab mice, full of medical waste, and full of hazardous material. The Fresno County Public Health Department, quote, evaluated and assessed the activities of this unlicensed lab. And what they found is that with multiple state and federal agencies determined biological and chemical con con uh, contents that were actually on site, including coronavirus, HIV, hepatitis, and herpes. So they actually confirmed, you know, some of the... Uh, some of the actual chemicals and the biological strains and many of the others that were present there on site. Then you have to go down like a bit of a deeper rabbit hole here. And this was a fascinating view actually from public local news. This is why we do still need local news, Crystal, yeah. because they have uh, great investigations. Let's put this up there. They say, quote, I have never seen anything like this illegal medical lab discovered in Reedley. This is from yourcentralvalley.com. What they point to is uh, the city manager, actually, of the property says that she's never seen this in her 26-year 26 career, 26 career in the county of Fresno. We had 800 different types of chemicals and all of that, which were on site. But eventually what comes through is that the tenant was a company called Prestige Biotech, and this has now since been confirmed, that was registered in Nevada, but was actually unlicensed for business in California. So the company's president is a Chinese citizen who they were only able to speak with uh, via emails, which were actually included in the court documents. And quote, other addresses provided as authorized agents for these empty offices were addresses in China that could not then be verified. Also, agents found thousands of package boxes, many with shipping labels from China, which were included in the court documents. Uh, so what was this lab doing? in Fresno County, California. What's happening with this? And the craziest part, nobody knows. Right. Who is this company? Who is this Chinese guy? Where are, why, how did they get a permit for all this stuff? Did it come through legally or illegally in customs? And then what were they studying in this? So this is one of the most bizarre, uh, odd things that has happened. You know, we, there's obviously been a lot of skepticism and, and allegation and discussion around Wuhan, but you know, at least that one was a level, you know, it's level four safety bio lab run by the Chinese government. This is some sketchy company in the middle of Fresno doing God knows what with who knows amount of unregulated yeah. chemicals. And the why question has still yet to be answered despite multiple people in California trying to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, from what I could read in the court documents. It's a wild story. And they the authorities just sort of stumbled upon this. Yeah, exactly. A city inspector saw a garden hose that was like in a place <laughs> a garden hose isn't supposed to be, which I didn't really know that they regulated where garden hoses could be, but apparently Probably that's a thing. Probably in industrial in areas they do. Building, yeah. they were like, you can't have right. that garden hose there. What else is going on? And then they go into this supposedly empty warehouse building and find all of this crazy stuff. Um, they, in terms of what the uh, owner of this company, Prestige Biotech, is saying, he told officials that Prestige Biotech moved assets that were that belonged to a defunct company called Universal Meditech Inc. to 
that warehouse from Fresno after that other company went under. Prestige Biotech was a creditor to that other company and identified as its successor. According to court documents, uh, officials were unable to get any California-based address for either company except for the previous Fresno location from which UMI had been evicted. So basically the story from the owner of this sketchy biotech company is that they had uh, acquired this other defunct biotech company, that this these were the assets from that one and they just were sort of like storing them there right. randomly is basically the idea. But I mean, you think about like live mice included in this? I don't know. It's a, it is a wild one. I have no idea what's going on with this, but it is really weird. Yeah. I mean, I think what has kind of come through is that clearly, I mean, the thing is too, is that the pictures, like you could see, can we throw the first one up there just so people get an idea? I mean, this all, I mean, I would have believed if they had told me that it was like a meth lab or some sort of drug lab. As you can see from, I mean, it's filthy. There's stuff everywhere. There's Clearly it's not clean. Gloves hanging uh, out Gloves there. just hanging out, yeah. you know, beakers and all this. Stuff. I mean, it genuinely does look like it, it could, you know, come out of a drug den or out of a movie. And yet you find out that we're talking about like viral agents, infectious bacterial, filthy mice in conditions. And then the, you know, the, I, the why question is the one that just continues to abound from all of this. So uh, yeah, like you said, uh, in, they stumbled across it somehow. I mean, what's really actually kind of terrifying to me is that none of this was flagged through customs because allegedly all of, we are supposed to have very stringent regulation on age, you know, chemical agents, viral agents, bacteria, and all this stuff mm -hmm. that comes into the United States. And it's especially supposed to be very high on China. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is, is that China makes the vast majority of inputs for a lot of our drugs, but they do come in via a relatively regulated process. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why that we're supposed to look very hard at the unregulated market is that Chinese fentanyl is probably responsible for the vast majority of opioid deaths here in the United States. And that's the reason why the drug cartels, they don't make those drugs here in America, they make it in Mexico where the export controls is much more corrupt effectively in order to get it into the country. That's the whole point. So then my question is like, well, how the hell did they even get this? Well, but we don't you know, necessarily the, know that it came from, that the materials came from China. Well, the shipping boxes came from China. So, I mean, yeah, you're right. Maybe they shipped it to Mexico and they drove it across the border. I mean, we've genuinely- I mean, We have no idea where this stuff was acquired from whatsoever. I mean, that could be too, that it was shipped. <laughs> we just don't know. And right. the thing to me, that doesn't pass the sniff test about the the, the story that mm. this was, you know, they're basically just storing this stuff in, here know. after this other company went defunct or whatever. When you look at those pictures, I mean, this isn't just like things in storage boxes. You've yeah, got exactly. a whole lab set up there. You've got the gloves there. You've you got things setup. in beakers. You've got stuff that's on the table. I don't know. It doesn't look like you were just like, oh, let me put it in storage and then, I don't know, dispose yeah. of it somehow, do something with it. It's right. a weird one. And also the, you know, creating front companies and all that in order to justify illegal export, import. That's a time-honored kind of Chinese tradition for, you know, I've, I've, re I've read and done some dives into Chinese fentanyl business. And it's almost exactly the same in terms of like, oh, you have a defunct company, a fake address in China. And, in terms of, and whenever you're trying to, you know, trace it back well, and be like, a, where did this come it's from? It's not a Chinese specific phenomenon. This yeah, is what course. sketchy businessmen do yes. all around the world, Correct. including here in the good old US of A. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they probably stole it from, they probably stole the tactic from us. So, you know, don't, don't let anyone say that they didn't steal the best. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.